Welcome to King's Casino in Rosfordoff. We're on the main table with another cash game from King's. The game is No Limit Hold'em, and already in this casino, we've seen the wolf walk away with a quarter of a million after cleaning up in the Phil Helmuth Invitational game. There are some new faces at the table, with Vladimir Troyanovsky and Max Altercott joining the likes of Rob Young, who's been a feature at every table. Rob has showed a profit after every game so far, so let's find out if he can make it three for three as we join the action with the wolf on the dealer button. 200 euros and 400 euros are the blinds. As we see Leon straddled 800 with a pair of eights. No, Leon, okay, Leon. The house always wins, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and Vladimir with a real hand. <laughs> what can I say? This could be a big one. <laughs> We're seeing a lot more... Uh, I accept my, uh, my bitter destiny. <laughs> big hands are really the other night, despite the fact the game played so big. The other night, there weren't that many people with traditionally strong starting hands. Wow, Peter with ace-queen suit in his hand as well. Well, the action the other night was fast and furious. <laughs> Even more so than tonight, but we're going to see some okay. some big hands right here. So we'll see if we can get a big pot going. Peter, opting to just call. How much you raised? Twenty-five. Back to Leon with the eights. Yeah, advocate a call here, but with Leon, could well re-raise. I think he was losing. It's starting to re-raise. He's just going to call. So three ways of the flop. Leon with the best of it so far. No help for anybody. That means Leon's still in the lead with eights. He's got a fade an ace or a queen. No player even with a, uh, a diamond for backdoor flush rules. Leon looks like he's going to lead out here. Vladimir just the backdoor, uh, not flush draw. Backdoor yeah. way draw. Vladimir has been waiting all night for his shot to get a big piece of one of these guys. Mm, looks like he's very suspicious of Leon's lead out here. Obviously, a whole host of cards that I'm making improve with, and then a whole lot you can bluff with. Mm -hmm. He does have some equity if he wants to continue. We'll go to a turn. The turn is a jack. And this is a good card for him. Let's see if Leon keeps it up here. Leon tends to continue betting. He bets again 4,500. Vladimir with 23%. Thing, you know, Vladimir's probably thinking Leon has some sort of 10 here rather than pocket eights, but the, the, the sizing has gone the same way he did against the wolf. Whether Vladimir can get away with bluffing or not, or he's going to call and just try and make a hand, and he has made a hand, made Broadway, has brought the diamonds, which will probably slow Leon down. Great river for Vladimir here. Sure enough, Leon will check and <coughs> can't see how he can call once the diamond draws come and that many overcards to his pair of eights. Very difficult indeed for Leon to have Vladimir beat on this run out. I'd like to see what would happen if it had been a, uh, a brick river where the Vladimir was going to be. Vladimir wow, checks. Vladimir checks. Wow, very cagey. You know, it looked to me on my turn like Leon. Checking in position with a straight. I play the same flush. Leon saying he would play the same with a flush. I think... Uh, uh, Leon's weak bet on the turn there really telegraphed his hand. We've seen him do it a couple of times before with just a, a one pair kind of hand thing. Yeah, we saw him try that against the wolf. The wolf did raise him on the river. Leon made the call, but yeah, Leon has definitely been uh, varying his sizing a little bit in some of these spots. He must be scared to play the play the flop, yeah? No, no. Six thousand. Let's play. It's very small. It's like for free. That's good there, Max. When you, when you have big hands in, a, in an action game like this, you really do want to get the max out of them. Get the max out of them. When you, when you three bet, you want too big because when you're doing it, you're almost certainly going to have good hands. You want to build big pots. And you can maybe get all the money in by the river, even though they're sat this deep. You mean the wolves not straddling Yeah, this game definitely plays bigger pots than the blinds would warrant. I mean, I we saw the other night, we, hold we, we had got to the you point where like the standard raise was like 30x to yeah, 30x, 3,000 <laughs> open at 100 so big blind. I've noticed it, yeah. And we're seeing 3,000 right here from Leon. Speaking of 3,000, here he comes. Yeah, Liam with another real hand. The wolf with the 5-4. Why do they do that? 
Well, it's just because you get the He's in there. And Rob's not going to fold the 8 9. You charge it for your price. What? When someone's got 100 big blinds? Huh? In a 100 big blind game, you have to make it that big? Yeah. Otherwise, it gets just too cheap. It's definitely changed over time, hasn't it? Yeah. It's changing all the time somehow. Next slide adjustments, you know, like here and there. Did you play online back in the days? Did you play online or anything? Interesting, Max and uh, Rob talking. Talking strategy theory at the there. table. Never. <laughs> Never a good idea, really. This is not the type of game that wow. strategy discussions generally Action happen. Action flop. Leon top set. Rob open and it's straight draw. Okay. How will Rob choose to play it? You can't count the wolf out. <laughs> you, <can't. laughs> you should be able to, you, but you, you can't. Should. You never know. He's got the backdoor wheel draw. You never know. He's shaking the wolf. his head. How can I lose with my 4 5? He's saying. No, Rob and Leon to the turn. This, this could be similar to the hand the other night where Rob had top set and Leon had a straight. Rob improves to a pair. Leon will continuation bet, 6,000. Leon is still in the lead, but top set. Obviously, this nine uh, cheapens Rob's straight draw. Makes it a lot more, uh, it's, it's a lot harder to get paid off if he does hit the straight or put four to the straight on the board. And yeah, not a spot where you want to hit your pair. A king on the river. Scary card for Leon. Uh, makes any queen a straight. Backdoor flush also gets there. Will Rob try and bluff it? Given uh, Leon tendency to call bluff so far this evening, I think it'll be uh, cool hardy. Especially when we know he's got a set. The question is, does Leon want a value bet? Right, looks like he's checked. Yeah, sure enough, he's checked. Leon will win the pot with his set of jacks. Right, I'm going to uh, leave you now, I think, Brian, with the capable hands of Mr. Simon Trump, who's joining us in the booth. So I news. will see you guys later. Yeah, always good to have you. Thanks for joining us. As we're here playing the Party Poker Live 200-400 no limit cash game. Because the game structure really allows that. Take a look at our stats here. So yeah, I sat Leon down here and played for 10 minutes and left. Owner of Kings, 238,000, trying to pull you with 208. Rob with 205. Max 94, as Peter Pan, 65. As well as, uh, and the Wolf, 37,600. A lot of sight we're used to seeing the Wolf as our short stack, oh. but yeah, we're random no cheating. Position. He's random up quite a bit in these games. Where's the casino again? Nottingham. Nottingham. Robin Hood. Yeah. Biggest casino in England. Oh, yeah? I would. I would... I would have thought the biggest would be in England, like somewhere in London. You that would have been my guess. No, not for poker. In London, they just do casinos. Uh -huh. Yeah, Rob is the owner of Dust Till Dawn and Nottingham. Poker doesn't make any money, so they can't do it in London. Yeah. Vladimir in the small blind here with the King 3 suited. The real estate is good. Yeah, it's very expensive. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's only about 40 minutes from my house, Rob's place. Oh, yeah, so you got him? Yeah. You're well, play, you like every him? Now and again, yeah, every now and again. I sometimes have a cash game on a Friday night in the tricket room. So I sometimes go there. In the tricket room. room? Is the yeah. tricket showing up there? Yeah, he plays in there. Yeah, tricket has a room there. Yeah. So he's showing up himself, yeah, he's playing on a regular base. Yeah, he lives, uh, he lives five minutes away. Right at home. Oh. We play oh, every Friday. I thought he had a flat in London. We play every Friday. Up and there it is. Uh, surely Rob's going to extract something from Vladimir here. Vladimir's still just checking. Three bet pre with King three suited. Make your flush and just check. Rob bets 10,000. Big bet on the turn here. Well, Vladimir Maybe makes a call. He's good. <clears throat> so barring another pair or a flush, we're going to probably gonna see another big bet on the river here. Would you play this, Brian? Would you check call or would you do what he's about to do? I think I would check call. Let Rob keep bluffing. I mean, Rob's surely going to bet his worst flushes. Vladimir leads out for 12,000, though, and surely we'll see a raise from Rob here with the full house. Yeah, well, Rob's looked to see how much he's got behind. That's the first thing he's done. How often do you have big games like this man here? How often do you guys play big games like this? All the play, all the play. All the play. All the play. 
I'm no deciding way. how much to raise here. Yeah, exactly. The There's no way he's just calling the wind. Vladimir's only got about 15 behind. And there we go. And I think... Is he going to call? It's tough to get away from it. And he, he does makes call. the call. It's a nice pot for Rob. <laughs> Big pot for Rob. We've seen Vladimir on the bad end of a couple of these spots in this game. Lucky man. Yeah, that's really frequent. Okay. This is an 81,000 euro pot right there. Oh, wow. You know that I was very lucky. I called a jack. Flip flop. Leon jack would have made a full house in Jack 8. eight yeah. Guys, I'm gonna get one good bluff first. Me too. Me too. Right, depressing. Not so good, but. I believe good. Rob. Okay, yeah. one big bluff through. He's certainly That's trying enough. Was very good. I mean, he forgot he already got one buff through when he, uh, when he jammed the turn against the wolf earlier. Wow, that was a very nice one with the Jack, jack 9. Yeah. A real sexy bluff, that one. That was a great bluff by Rob. Rob raises not too big, wow. trying to get the wolf in there with the him. Wolf. And he's in there. It's hard to the wolf. He's dominated it's the wolf. It's a bit weak. Can I get one more tea bag? Oh, sorry, no. Um, can I get English breakfast? He knows you're doing it. Do you have any other black tea? Oh. Do you have any other black tea other than that? The first of the car? Paul knew you're a stereotypical you Englishman. He likes to get his tea just right. Oh, okay. Can I get one more tea bag then? A tea connoisseur. Just bring me one more tea back. Thank you very much. Wolf leads. Here comes his the, classic, six. the classic wolf lead. And Rob not going anywhere. He's in a raise. Insta call. Insta call. It was Insta call button. Insta call button. Yeah, I saw that. Easy, easy call. I just raised. <laughs> easy call, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> wolf calling very quickly. Check. And checking the turn dark. The turn is a three. Wow. <laughs> Oh, the, the wolf. wolf. The wolf. And he just moves all in. Just immediately jams the river. For 48,000. Did you really get lucky on the end with 7 8? <laughs> no, I don't have 7. Huh? I don't have 7. I mean, this is a, this is a suicide bet. There's no way Rob's calling with the worst hand. Skin. Uh, given the way up. this game has been playing, he could call. Normally, you you're totally like correct. It would be impossible to call yeah, the first here. In this game, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Rob got very unlucky on the turn here. He's behind a lot of hands. <coughs> He's beating a flush draw. I mean, he shoved two and a half times the pot. Rob's really thinking about calling the, the third pair. Rob saying go. he should have bet the turn would not have helped him, though. Let it go, Rob. Let it go. Rob does make the fold. Good fold by Rob. <laughs> Rob, you want to see my hand? Yes, he does. See a minute. It's on the television screen here. <laughs> Only for you. Oh, oopsie boopsie. <laughs> I don't even know what that was. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, there's a How chance. How is possible? Rob doesn't realize that was two pairs. 6, three, six two, six two, nine, three, ten. The ball. Six, six three, three, nine, ten. Yeah. Two pairs, yeah? Why are you saying what is I told you only for you. <laughs> he saw it. I didn't see his hand. I know the board. <laughs> you know the know board? He said the board. He didn't say my hand. He no. told you six, three, nine, ten. The board was a uh, nine, six, three, yeah? Yeah? Six, no. two, no, three, no, nine, no. ten. Six, two. Six, two, the, the nine, three, ten. He came on the turn. See? So three back. on the turn, my friend. It's always tough coming into a, a game when it's already started like this. He has no idea which players are on tilt, which players are stuck, which players are locked up. And uh, if, if he's not a regular winner, any of their tendencies either. Yeah, a game like this where so much money is being thrown around on sort of the light hands, it can be very difficult to adjust. You're going to find yourself in a lot of very strange spots where you're, you know, some, some sort of like a decent hand. You're just facing these gigantic bets, and you're not sure exactly where you're at. As Leon. Wow, here we go. Wolf with top pair. Leon with second set. Fireworks at last. Check, check on the flop. Check, check. Three. Interesting, Leon check back with his, his set. Maybe trying to let the wolf hang himself a bit here. Leon just calls a turn. So a much smaller pot than you'd have thought with uh, these hands. If Leon had bet the flop, 
But there's still time for more action. We'll see how much goes in on the river. Six pairs on the river. No help for the wolf. He does bet. The wolf bets club. And Leon going to raise. How much will he raise? Looks like a 23,000. Oh, the wolf makes no time in calling. Immediate call from wow. the wolf there. Wow. Leon with a full house. Nice pickup for Leon there, checking the flop, letting his opponent bet at it twice. I have to feel if he'd uh, just bet the flop and gone yeah. big on three streets, he would have won a much bigger pop. You think so? I'm surprised, yeah, I think uh, well, the, wolf's, the wolf's not one for folding. We got first, second, third, and sixth place. <laughs> On the 100k. Leon picking his horses very well in the uh, no, high, high roar buy, it sounds like. Mom reserves. Mom reserves. In the area uh, now. Yeah. I had. Still on reserves, but. On the 100k, I had four people in. All four in the money out of six. <laughs> huh? And the Strel was at 1600 this hand. <laughs> First second, Ronald King's third. Yeah. And sixth place. And I had 50%. He's going to come in for a raise, it looks like. And a beautiful advertisement. Rob does not like to fold his button. He's in there with the King I seven offsuit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, when you pay the blinds and moving the table, you can't then be folding your button. No, that's true. You <laughs> paid dearly for that button. He's paid 600 euros for that button. Well, might as well pay another 4,500 euros for it this hand. Wow, King seven. Peter. Peter. Three betting the Queen Seven Diamonds. Wow. It's, it's nice to see the uh, even the professionals in the game are taking some shots. And the Wolf and the <laughs> is just going to correctly go all in here. <laughs> Peter, you can't run right beat the Wolf. It. He just knows what's going on. <laughs> He's a sixth sense. The Wolf with the soul read here, knowing that Peter is light somehow. I don't know how he does it. Good work, Wolfie. How much is that? Now hold up. 37? Obviously, no way Peter can fall for just 20,000 more. 20,000 more to Peter. <laughs> he's getting three to one. He's, he's actually going to be loving life when he sees the shape oh, yeah. he's in. He's in a decent spot. 35, 6? You'd be shocked to see he's. Uh, That's good news. <laughs> uh, so it's only 19,000. <laughs> Peter excited that he gets to call here. You sure? And we'll see the hands. I have a big one. <laughs> the wolf is in the Pivotal lead. Going to. <laughs> At King seven. Two, two <laughs> classic. <laughs> a no, classic showdown. Okay, Queen seven suited against ace two suited. <laughs> for uh, you know, 100 big blinds each or whatever this is. Yeah, just the 81,000 euro pot for Queen seven against the ace deuce. <laughs> Peter here to gamble. And. The wolf picks up Limit a flush on the turn, blocking some of Peter's out. Just very bad shape. Five, not going to do yeah. it. The wolf wins a huge pot with Ace High. Go on, the wolf. The wolf. Can't even steal this day. No, how? Hey? Can't even steal. Can you even All heads. He can't steal all heads. Can you even 40 more? It's a big hand, wolf. It's a nice hand, yeah. Suited, suited. Meshon Lou. I see someone asking in the Twitch stream, is that B Paris? It is B Paris commentating with me. I'm James Dempsey alongside him for the rest of this evening's Party Poker Live cash game at King's Casino. We're well, watching play? a big one tonight here. I, I made 200, 400 no limit. This is real money. These guys are playing with Euros. Finish with a two. Finish, finish. Yeah. Leon with a pair of kings. Here we go. The wolf with a good hand. When we're going anywhere. And the wolf with ace jack. Raman has raised a little bit light here. Yeah, he certainly uh, played, he didn't play the first few hands, but he's definitely come to play. Now that now that he's uh, seen how things are going a little bit, he's more willing to open up. But he is running into the kings of Leon here. Kings and Kings Casino for the owner. Yes, sir. I dare say Rob will be coming along. So that's so deep. And yeah, Rami sure. coming in with the Jack 7. Everyone's in there. 
All right, here we go. Casual 31,000 to start the hand. This is a common theme I've seen, actually. Some of the professionals that try to take a shot in this game, they've uh, really widened up their ranges to the point where they're actually not even making plus EV plays, as we're seeing from Raman here. Can't catch a break here. Only 12% in this four-way pot. Yeah, the is an ace, the wolf. Non-stop. And with so much in the middle already. How does that always happen? Can't imagine the wolf is going to go anywhere with this hand. You raise big, get f three callers, you the ace always the comes. Hand. Why is it? Why is it always come when you've got kings? It's a day in the life of the wolf. Leon, can he get away from the kings? He does bet twelve thousand. Yeah, it's a small bet, just just uh, over a third of the pot. We've seen this a lot from him. He likes to bet small when he's got vulnerable hands or. We weaker holdings, I should say, rather than the vulnerable hands. Basically going to isolate himself against Ace X here, though. The two players will fold, having missed the flop. We go to a turn. It's a jack of clubs. That's going to give the wolf two pair and the nut flush draw. Leon thinks he has a flush draw. Yeah, it's a very bad card for Leon. I think it's a good card. He's yes. not live. Interesting. The wolf is just, I say, just 62,000 euros back, but just over a pot back behind. Leon with a decision here. Over yeah, the check. No. Continues to bet small, or he can even bet big and try and make the wolf fold a bad ace. So I wouldn't advise the uh, ladder against the wolf. He might be going for that option, unfortunately. Leon is betting. 37,000 and the wolf with a monster hand and a monster draw, not going anywhere. Yeah, top two in the nut flush draw, he's not going anywhere. Leon he's can't really fold now, he's priced himself in with the king of clubs. Leon has priced himself in, basically turning his hand into a semi bluff on the turn. Leon has two outs to win the pot here, he needs a king. The wolf has his flush draw beat. <laughs> oh, yeah, a red king. Well, wow, you know, Leon's actually made made the second nut flush, but he's up against the wolf, and you need more than that to beat the wolf. 178,000 euro pot. The wolf taking it down. Just a, a casual house in that pot. <laughs> Plush wins a house. I don't know how you play some That's the only thing I could guess. When you get kings, it's a nice feeling, and they always an ace on the flop. Yeah. You're like, so ugly. And you never know, I mean, you never know why. <coughs> Leon with Jack 10. That is definitely in the Leon range. Like he's just gonna limp in over to Max with a monster hand, pair of jacks. Max at the 220,000 at this table. Raises to 1,600. Yeah, I didn't see if Max won supports or he's been uh, pulling up. I think a little of both. He's definitely won a couple of pots. Or he also it? tried to bluff Paul that hand with the flush versus a higher flush. I don't know if you saw that one. He yeah. checkered him on the turn. It's a, you can see Max, professional play. You always want to have enough money on the table if the, the players you're going after have got a lot of money. You want, you want to get full value when you do make that really big hand. Yeah. Obviously, up to, up to a point, if your bankroll allows it, then it's a good idea to cover uh, them. It. Now, it's definitely the sound move. You can find yourself in some really weird spots against these guys if you are in for enough money, though. These guys are willing to do some crazy stuff. So we see the flop get checked around. Max with second pair. Leon with a slightly worse second pair. Rob's going to pick up diamonds on the turn here. Bets for just 2,000. Leon will call. And now Max, he's had a pretty decent hand. He will call as well. In a normal game, you might be worried about being up against the queen in a spot like this three ways. But Ooh, there it is. Rob has arrived on the river. Looks like he's betting 10. Leon with second pair. Will fold. He has to worry about Max behind him as well. And now Max 
Has to decide if he wants to bluff catch with this hand. He does have a diamond. He's losing to a queen, he's losing to a flush. Also losing to a couple of straights. He blocks on the Rob's bluffs with the jacks. He blocks jack nine and king jack. <clears throat> but a player like Rob can be very unpredictable. Axel's good on the turn, but he no longer is. Reaching for chips, and he does make the call. He's the bad news. Tough spot for Max Alter got there. It'd be very difficult to find the right balance when you're playing against uh, you know unpredictable players who don't mind throwing money around. T50, everybody would just step down. Yeah, you'll have better action too. I better get into Maybe we can sell. Do that as a solver. Man, it for sure make the game more interesting too. Yeah. It's much well, more. obviously discussing the trend online for, where. For craziness. A hundred big blinds. You're going to have cash games. games. Uh, heading towards the moment where they're being well, kind of sold to the strategies. Meanwhile, whilst the conversation is going on, Rob finds himself back. with Kings again. No, no, Leon no. with a real <laughs> hand as well on the button. Well, we could see a big one here between Leon's ace 10 suit and the Kings of Rob. Could well three bet. Might just flat. As he's winning, he sort of oh, tends to play a bit more passive. Here. Not support Leon. Paul with the 8-6-3. Looks like he is going to come really along for the ride. The His cards are live. But they're not very good. Flop 7-4-9. Wow. Here Leon we go. With the nut flush draw. Rob with what kings. Oh, this could be a very big pot. Oh. Potential for a half Players million both euro have, pot. Uh, 250,000 euros in front of them. Almost. Leon just going to call. Yeah. Pull with a gut shot. Paul does have a gut shot. If he had two clubs in his hand, this would be a very interesting spot for him. With just a gut shot, it seems quite difficult. He does make the fold. Four on the turn, no help for Leon. Great card for Rob. Yeah, counterfeits potential two pairs, although Leon surely would have raised the flop with two pair. Rob, it's 15,000 on the turn. Over to Leon. He will call. Gonna see a river. King of, King of clubs. Oh, King of clubs. No, it's the Deuce of clubs. The Deuce so of Leon clubs. has made the flush on the end. Leon still. makes the flush. I can't really see. Rob surely has to bet this river still. You know, the flush draw's got there. Rob is gonna bet. Will he be able to fold to the raise? Rob bets 20,000. Wow, Leon Leon's just, just calling, playing friendly. Rob shocked to be behind. Yeah, very surprising to be losing oh, after you week. just get called there. Leon not trying to uh, oh, go too hard on his huh? good friend here. He did a full house. Right, if you guys are anywhere near Central or Eastern right, Europe, make sure you check it out. Right. About an hour and a half drive from Prague. The best, biggest poker room in all of Europe. Max with a, uh, another big hand. Just flooding over Peter's open with Jax this time. Max just going to call. I think he's Ooh, less likely to three bet hands against other pros to try to. That's true. He wants to keep uh, the likes of the wolf in the pots. Paul with another big hand in the blinds. <coughs> Paul with Ace King. <coughs> and he's just going to call, I think. No, he has uh, no, he did 12,000. Okay. This is going to make it really interesting when it gets back to Max. He's literally going to have the top of his range when he when he calls this uh, this three bet. Peter quickly folds the Ace Jack suited. It's weird and that the, Max. Hand, the hands are fallen this way. Max and Paul have had played quite a few pots together where they've each had hands. Yeah, Max and Paul have had big hands against each other. We do not know what the wolf has. Not even sure if the wolf knows what the wolf has. <laughs> I'm not even sure the wolf cares what the wolf has. <laughs> Max got a call. Wondering how he can manage to get himself into such six spots here.
And the Wolf. Does he want to play? It's going to be a big one. Now. <laughs> <laughs> Wolf, you get, you're getting like a professional player, taking yeah, lots yeah, of time, yeah? yeah. yeah. I need to take my time, yeah. Just like the professionals. Ah. We're trying to hurry the game along. We're playing our last half an hour here. I'm needling the Wolf a bit there. We're going heads up to the flop with two very nice hands. The ace-king of Paul Newey against the jacks of Max Altergott. Max already been in a very sick spot here. Queen 8-8. Eight, eight. We'll see how aggressive Paul wants to get here. An interesting spot for Max as well. Backdoor flush draw. Backdoor straight draw. He, he is finding himself in a lot of real awkward spots. Now Paul can either make his life really tough here or he can make his life easy. He's going to make his life easy. Yeah. Now Max with a very nice hand to just go to showdown with. Not a whole lot of yeah. value in betting. He could blast Paul off of six outs. Yeah, no, I'm with you there. Obviously he knows he knows Paul's not squeezing with no hand. He's just, he is pretty much ace king and sort of jacks plus. Max so. picks up a gut shot and a flush draw. Now Paul's hand just keeps getting worse. Yeah, it's a big card for Max, but again, I don't see much merit in uh, in betting if this check too. Paul is going to bet. I'm kind of surprised to see a bet from Paul here. Yeah. This is only going to work if he also bets the river. I don't mm. think Max will be folding the turn. No, Max can't fold this. How can you have a fold when you can still make a straight flush? <laughs> he does have the one hundred straight flush draw there. You can be anything. Three on the river, no help for Max. If Paul follows through on the bluff, he may win this one. But he's got a pretty rough hand to do it with. <coughs> Max Altergott can have flushes, he can have full houses, he can have all Here sorts of things. But he does go for it, and Max now in a tough spot. He only beats a bluff. Beats, but he only beats the one bluff he can have, which is Ace King. That is pretty much the only bluff Paul has when he uh, four bets out of the blind. Now Paul could have Ace King with a heart. Um, I'm surprised that Paul is taking this line with Ace King no heart. So Max going to run through the possibilities here. He's already stuck mm -hmm. a bunch after that huge hand. That might factor into the decision making of Paul here. Looks like Max did make the call. Good call there for Max. Paul with a valiant effort, but not going to make it. Nice call. Maybe Paul uh, would have seen that with aces or kings. What did you hear? Mm. Not maybe. Good queen ten. Yeah, I'm on the four. I'm really honest if I tell you, I'm really happy you folded. The wolf saying he would have won the pot with queen ten. Of course the wolf would have won the pot. I don't know why he folded. He's the, he's the wolf, man. You have two jack. He has a skin. I will win for sure. <laughs> Max, you're calling your shot? Up against two jacks no. and ace king, I would win for sure. Very, very good. The confidence of the wolf, and why not? He's been Probably running yeah. hot all week. If he called, I think he would just come ace king jack. <laughs> <laughs> or change the, change the board. Max with Max. jacks again. Uh, Max nice. with the jacks. As Leon comes in for a limp with the 10-8 suited. Paul again, <laughs> playing a number three pot four. against Max, ace king again. This is unbelievable. <laughs> Probably uh, the last person Paul would be playing pots against Max, but it's just it's just turned out this way. And Rob with kings behind. Rob with kings behind. This could be a truly massive pot. Rob's Max, gonna four back to twenty thousand, and Max. Max really is getting put in terrible spots in this game. This is horrible. He knows how the fight Paul's been. And I then can't Rob, imagine he's able to continue here. No, Rob, and Rob knows that. You know, Rob and Paul know each other really well. Rob's been ribbing Paul for being so solid. So how can Max possibly continue with Jax there? It's just a horrible spot. Max has found his way into the dream game here, but he's been put in tough spot after tough spot. As he's got the Jacks here up against the cold four bet from Rob Young and the three bet from Paul Newey. I mean, it was a tough spot against a three bet for the second hand in a row against Paul, I think. Yeah, it is. You know, uh, Paul's not three bet without a hand 
uh, all game. Max Rob is the type of guy who could just try to do this against Paul with seven deuce or something just so he could show it, but there's always a little bit of that in the range. Yeah. I think uh, Paul with position will have to take a flop. I think I'll just call. Cool. And then we'll see what Max does. He's in a truly difficult spot here. You know, if you're a professional, you really want to get into games like this, but then... That's a good fold. At the end of the day, you're going to be putting these tremendously difficult spots for massive amounts of money. 20,000. Even in a great game, it's still stressful. Back to Paul with ace-king. He has position against Rob if he decides to call. Looks yeah, like that I mean, is what he's going to go with. The, the full play here, I think. So now, barring hmm. a king on the flop, Paul should be able to get away without losing too much here. It's an ace. <laughs> Paul takes the lead, and Rob. Wow. Always an ace. Always an ace. Hopefully, Paul will check back here. I don't mean, much value in uh, betting. It's much, it's much easier to try and convince your opponent you, you have a mid pair yourself. Well, the problem for Paul here, I don't know, if he does check, it's not necessarily going to turn into a good spot for Rob to start bluffing. So maybe he bets and tries to get value from, like, ace-queen, ace-jack. But I think uh, these two players know each other. Rob, you know, obviously has commented on how tight Paul is. If That's Paul were to bet the flop, Rob might just give himself the excuse to go away from this. Whereas if he, if he checks back, Rob might try and get really thin value or call cool later street. Looks like Paul is going to bet. And Rob quickly Snap folds. folds the Kings. King. Yeah, I think it's a, it's a mistake betting there with, with Paul's image. Was, yeah, I think uh, I jacks. other players with certain dynamics yes, yeah. then should bet, but for Paul particularly, right. checking back there is better. Jacks. Paul showed one card. I don't know if he showed the ace or the king. I think the ace. I think they're good friends. I don't think you'd show him. I just think he's trying to be nice. I actually won. I think I lost everything. Oh, I picked up a cool hand. I think so. I'm sure. Then boom, rather. Yeah, it's fine. Three more hands by the looks of it. Still white straddle. Last straddle a few times. Paul with fours, gonna come in for a race. Ramen. Ramen with Jack, so. And he has three betting against Paul Newey. We have seen some of these guys flat their big hands to try to you know, get the, the liver players in the, get in the pot. But Leon. Leon with a 6 full suit on the button. He's not going anywhere. So Three bet not going to deter Leon. Closes. He's in there. Last few chances to gamble. Let's together for the closes. Maybe Leon will save one time. <laughs> Robin way out in front here. Leon actually has one of Paul's we want, fours. We want to make huh? a, a one beer to say well done for Colossus. But he says he can't have one beer. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Imagine Roman I, I still on see that despite the king on board. <laughs> he knows Leon's uh, button range problem. is very wide. I when I see weakness, I attack. No. We have to have one drink for the Colossus. It's the biggest achievement in Europe. <laughs> what do you have against me? Are you bet 15,000? Warren, do the, do the usual uh, trick. Go to the bar. Eight, nine? Yeah. You? Ten. Ten. Uh, yeah. Twelve. Jax will get it through. Picks up another yo, small yo. pot of 15,000 euros. <laughs> yo, yo. Yo, yo. Yeah. <laughs> Did you have a flash blocker? Did you have a flash blocker? Did you have a ten of diamonds? I don't remember. Fine. Could make a difference, right? Because there are a couple of less flashes. You should know that. I don't know. I don't play no to be small. I don't play like you guys. <laughs> you feel all play. Doesn't matter, I even feel I play by field. Really? He's yeah. like a. Never a blocker. He's like a bad version of Phil Helmuth. <laughs> he plays with field as well. Beater with fives bad on the hijack. Yeah. Man, that's a really bad version of <laughs> I thought there for a second he was about to three bet. I thought so Rob, too. Rob called him a bad version Rob of Phil Helmuth. He's, He's like, like all right, well, here comes a three bet, Rob. But no, he's just going to call oh, Leon made three bet. I yeah. yeah. can guarantee you that I'm yep, quite good in no living. I can quite guarantee that. Really? Wow, Leon must have a big hand. The last There's a little hands. proof to that. Every time I play. Let's catch him, Mr. Wolf. Wolf with the suit well, king. The house, a rare fold in his penultimate hand. Must have a big hand, Leon, here. To do this last hand of the night. Next one is the last one. One more after. One more after. Minimum ace queen here. 
Minimum Ace Queen. Well, he's uh, <laughs> he, he called it out. Rob is actually ready. quite he's astute with the reads in a lot of these spots. Let's get him. Let's get him. Rob doesn't really care about playing to win money, but he does uh, have a knack for the game, it seems, as he's correctly called out what his opponents are doing on a lot of occasions. Huge, huge flop, flop for Rob. Rob. Got shot straight during a flush draw. He's got it all. A little bit of everything. Be a... Call that bet. I refuse to participate. Peter mucks the best hand. Peter with the best of it, but... No way he could proceed against two players with just a pair of fives. So if I have the ten of diamond, that means you have less flushes. Yeah, unless I'm an ace jack. I change on the turn. Well, I could also have ace jack. It's five. Leon a small yeah. favorite. So, I'm going to continue by the looks of it. Uh, oh, it's well, a good bet then. if he puts Rob on a, on yeah. a draw or well, if maybe I a small pocket eight, pair. Have, like, Rob obviously wouldn't be following a jack or a knight at this point, but the rest of his range Leon gets money in ahead against. It's a tiny thing, really. Well, I'm not so going like anywhere with this hand. It's definitely considerable. It's definitely considerable. Definitely something to consider. Oh, yeah. There's an ace wow. of hearts. That is an interesting card. Very nice river. Leon yeah. makes a pair, but Rob oh, gets flush. <laughs> I think I'm Rob more like to lead out here difficult. than check. Sure enough, he does. Small just just 15,000. 15, I see what people do. I try to do the same. Leon will not be able to fold. Nope. King's not good. Straight, bet straight just under draw, a quarter of the pot. It's a very small bet. Yeah, I'm showing the ace. I'm running so bad, I don't raise with that hand. Oh, shit. Come on, come on, hand there. On that flop, you just check all? I just check all. I'm, yeah. so I'm running so bad, I can't raise. Last what button. a chicken. I play like last a chicken. Yeah. Wow, last what button. a chicken. Okay, so now I believe we're going to our last, last hand of the night. After this, this will be our last hand of the night, folks. I'm so bad. If you enjoyed the uh, stream tonight, hand. make sure you follow the Poker Room Kit Kings Twitch channel. We might have another game tomorrow night. All right. We don't we'll have, have more tournaments time, either way. And uh, if the YouTubers <laughs> keep checking out the uh, Party Poker YouTube that, channel. Yeah. Right. This cash game has been brought to you by Party Poker Live in King's Casino. Rob under the gun, last hand of the night. Just getting a straddle on the way. Ah, oh, there's a straddle, oh, all right. Sorry. It's a straddle. I call. These are calls a straddle. What a straddle in my face. You Over to Leon with the King Queen. We're seeing some hands here. We're just a limp as well. Leon's in there. Max. Just the wolf, come on. The wolf. The wolf so slaying us down. Now. The come wolf folds the last hand of the night. It was a really bad one, though. You're playing like professional tonight. I play like professional. Taking your time, <laughs> your decisions. Your leg like Hold the button last hand. Killed no. everybody on the thing. Killed everybody. You all win. Sorry. I didn't win anything. You're always moaning about professional players. Can you win three million? One more round. One more round. One more round. No, no more rounds. Yeah. No more rounds. Yes, yes. I'm finished for the night. No what are you more doing? rounds. Did you check? Okay. Let's go drinking, man. Mr. Wolf. Let's go the drinking. Button. Someone's declared. Sounds like a good idea to me. Uh, this well, might be our plan as well, well after this wow. one. Wow, oh, we have one here more we big hand. Flush draw, top pair, trips, anymore. everything for the last hand. Everything for Take the last hand. hand. All right, we're not going drinking yet, boys. There we will gotta, be blood. Yeah. We got a big come one on, here. Come on, someone bet. All this checking going on. Max is going to start the betting. No. Yes, Max has bet. Sorry. Can I leave, can I leave this paper? Peter with a monster. Check raises the 6,000. Leon in the decision. middle with the king queen. We won't be going anywhere. He's in there. Back Max. to Max. Max now with an awkward decision. Not not flush draw on a paired board. Can check raise three way. He does have the right price to call, but this hand is fraught with dangers. You could be up against a nut draw. You could be up against a full house. You could make your flush and make someone else a full house. He's going to see a turn, and the turn is a diamond. Wow, this is the card that gets it, gets it going. He knows one of these guys has to have a, a seven. Expect to see a rather large bet here. Somewhere around about three quarters pot to, to full pot. Max Alter got that's sure enough. 15. Just just under three quarter pot. Over to Peter with trips. Three ways. He does have to be a little bit concerned, but he is going to make the call now. Leon 
Yeah, he, uh, I'm sure Peter thinks it's a good chance he's beat, but he can improve to full house and he can't really fold at this stage. Will Leon get away? Drawing very thin, he needs a king to win the hand. Sure enough, we're having a very big pot to finish the night. 67,000 in there going to the river. The river's a six. Ah, wow. Peter kind makes his boat. And now he's got to decide if he's going to make more money by leading. He's got to assume that Max will shut down with his flushes now. Yeah, this is one of these weird spots where... Maybe he can get a crying call out of Leon or something. That's, that's basically it. Like, there's no way Max, who's, who's run awful tonight, can really pay him off. But Leon's in there, and Max, seeing the bad news, is going to fold. Full. Same hand, probably, right? Same move. <laughs> And so a 100k pot to finish the night. Very nice finish for Peter there. He uh, was down quite a bit in the game going to that hand, but he makes a bunch of it back there. Yeah, and that, that really uh, surmised the game for Max. <laughs> yeah. Like he was finally going to get a chunk of his money back. So many yeah. tough spots for Max Altergott in this game. Really, really was. Um, I think obviously he had the most interesting, uh, I guess, mistake with the ace king. Oh, yeah. He but gave the wolf a lot after of money. That, that he hand. got put in a lot of horrible spots, but made the best decision, I think, uh, almost every time. A big hand to finish some big days of poker here in Rosvedoff. This game is over, but we'll be back with more Cash Games from Kings next time.